Welcome back to On Football. Today's unboxing is on the Under Armour UA Swarm. This is a brand new skill football glove for Under Armour, debuting this year. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this. I got them in all white. Um, you can see from the package that they are $50. Um, but I'm going to give you, obviously, some of my initial impressions. Um, it talks about clutch fit. Tell you, uh, you know, what Under Armour claims in the glove and some of the things that I'm really interested in testing out in this piece after I unbox it. So the Under Armour glove that this really replaces is the Under Armour Nitro. I had the UA Nitros before. They were great. You can check out that review. They had great fit, great ball feel, excellent grip. The durability was much to be desired. So that grip didn't last very long. Um, so I'm hoping that this is different. Uh, but what it says here is clutch fit, engineered with UA clutch fit technology, a second skin of advantages that activates under pressure, locking you in with superior fit and feel. Uh, so that's something that I'm gonna test out. Uh, the new clutch fit, excited to see that. Hopefully the fit is just as good as the nitros. Uh, the back of hand has clutch fit, so that's really going to be a compressive fit. It does use heat gear, so it's gonna be another warm weather glove. Um, super sticky armor grip tack for maximum catchability. Strategically perforated so your hands can breathe. So. It has perforations, just like many of the other Under Armour gloves, um, you know, right there on the palm. Uh, you guys can see it in the light. You can see some of the perforation there. I don't know exactly what this is, but um, it also is supposed to breathe on the back of the hand. Um, so we're going to test that out, and it has some of the perforations on the side as well, if you can see. Um, these gloves right here are in extra large, so we'll test the fit out. Um, so the things that I'm excited to test in this glove are really going to be just the durability, the tackiness, um, and the fit, uh, you know, and, the, and then that ball feel. Can it live up to the nitros? Is it going to be a better glove than the nitro? Uh, so that's pretty much my unboxing. If you guys are excited to see this review, which I will give a detailed review in a couple weeks, remember to like my video, share, and obviously subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.